everyone, welcome to what is my delve into the world of YouTube videos. Uh, the purpose of this channel, as you might have already guessed by the name of it, is my introduction into not only running, but targets that I've set myself in terms of running the six pillars marathons. Many runners out there will know what I'm talking about, but if you're not too familiar with the terminology, or I may have even got it completely wrong in what I've just said, but it is running the six main marathons on the calendar. So we have the Berlin Marathon, the Chicago Marathon, New York Marathon, of course the very famous Boston Marathon, the Tokyo Marathon, and my local one which will be the London Marathon. Brief background about myself. I have no history in running whatsoever. As a matter of fact, up until June this year, I had no interest in running. I didn't see what benefits it could have for me. I didn't see what I would achieve from doing it. But as someone that suffers strongly with a varying amount of mental health conditions, I thought I'd give it a try. What have I got to lose? Get out there and run. See some scenery while I'm out there, visit some new places. You never know, I may actually take to it, and that's exactly what's happened. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a strong runner, I wouldn't say I'm a confident runner, but my first run I thought I'd go for a 5k run and see what I can achieve. 5k run finished, I didn't stop all the way through, which I was proud of in itself. My time was just shy of 28 minutes, which I know for many runners out there, it's not a feat at all, 28 minutes. But for me, I was very happy with it. I'd managed to complete it without stopping. I was at a consistent pace and it gave me a building block. Now, I'm a very competitive person. I want to set my mind to something. I go out there and I put my all into it. Sometimes it can be a detriment to me because I'm constantly striving to better myself, if that makes sense. So, very little training on the mobile, what do I do? I go and sign up for a half marathon in November. Not stopping at that. I then go and enter for a charity place in the London Marathon 2024. Now a lot of people may think this is a big ask for someone who's not familiar with running. They've never run more than 5k previously. As a matter of fact, the 5k that I ran is my test 5k was the first time that I'd done 5k in a very long time. But it gives me enough time. It gives me a target to work towards, should we say, with my first half marathon. And depending on my half marathon time, I'll then determine what time I'm gonna aim for should I be lucky enough to get a place in the London Marathon. Now I do have a time in mind and it may be a bit unrealistic for my first marathon but I am hoping to complete it in 3 hours 30 or under. I believe I've got determination to achieve this. I believe with hard work and some careful planning I can get my kilometre times down enough for me to be able to succeed in this. I've got a average pace of about 52 minutes I think I recorded yesterday I'll get the stats and put them in another video but I think I did 10k yesterday in about 52 minutes and that felt very easy for me and I was never out of breath if anything I could have run faster but I didn't want to push myself too hard I wanted to see what I could achieve running a 10k I wanted to see how it felt I think most importantly for me what I'm going to find the hardest is finding that rhythm, finding that tempo which I can stick at and I can consistently perform and put times in that. My aim is to run for mind in all marathons that I do do, not only for myself and for what mental health charities and mental health crisis teams have done for me but also for family members and friends that I know that are struggling with mental health and more importantly for people out there like yourselves. I still believe even in today's day and age mental health is 
very much, how can you put it, very much brushed on the carpet. There's quite a lot of people still out there who are very narrow minded and believe that mental health is just basically depression and the amount of times I've heard people, not only to myself but to others saying just get over it, you're just playing on depression and stuff like that. If you look at the statistics out there, a lot of people that do take their lives due to mental health is because of narrow minded comments like that. It's a condition which I wouldn't wish on anyone especially the diagnoses that I've had and it's something that a lot of people may know or may not know can work in your favour in terms of how driven you are, how determined you are to succeed and also how much you can criticise yourself. Now for a lot of people it's just finishing a marathon would be an achievement in itself. But for me, I want to go that one step further. I want to finish it, my first marathon, in under three hours 30. And that would be my A goal. My B goal, of course, would be finishing under four hours. And my C goal would be just finishing the marathon. But I believe I can do better than just finishing it. I believe I can finish it in a time that shows credit and testimony to not only myself but to my willpower and determination to achieve something that I set my mind to. And there's many people out there now that might watch this video, if anyone does watch it, and may think, well, you're aiming too high. But if I don't aim too high, then there's no motivation there. And then hard days, which I know there will be, there's going to be loads of hard days. But if I'm not pushing myself to say, I want to achieve this, then you can get yourself in kind of a rut whereby you're just running for the sake of it and that's when motivation can be lost that's when you can start putting training off and making excuses but yeah i'm excited to document this journey i'm excited to see how far into my journey i get and i'm excited to achieve what i believe i can do the reason I've started this channel is to document my own journey, so it's my own personal referral. But also I know there's a lot of people out there that will give me tips and advice. They can help me. I'm in no way trained in any way to give advice about running. I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, so I know nothing about what I'm going to need to fuel my body. I'm going to turn to other creators out there that have posted videos about stuff like that, that would help me on my journey. I'm going to have to test different nutritional methods, I'm going to have to test of course fueling methods for getting me through that initial half marathon which I've got booked for November and then following on from that I'm then going to have to tweak that again to take me double the distance to cover that 22.6 miles that's required to finish a marathon. Yeah, it'll be an exciting journey and I look forward to uploading more videos and documenting how I'm getting on in this progress.